Anton Chekhov, who lived from 1860 to 1904, is one of the most recognized names in modern Russian literature. Though he died near the beginning of the 20th century, his writing style reflected a more introspective mood and a focus on small details characteristic of modernism. Chekhov's plays and short stories stand in contrast to the realism that audiences and readers previously expected. Partly for this reason, his works are challenging to read and understand for contemporary readers as well. Gooseberries is one of Chekhov's later works, published in 1898. This information may help you understand the rather melancholy philosophical tone of this particular story. Gooseberries is a frame story. In a frame story, one fictional character tells a story in the context of a larger plot. In this case, the man, Ivan Ivanich, tells a story about his brother, Nikolai, while spending time with his two friends. The frame part of the story begins with Ivan and his friend Borkin walking in the fields near the Russian village of Miroski. Ivan is just about to begin his story about Nikolai when the overcast day becomes a rainy one. The two friends decide to take shelter at the farm of another friend, Aloykin. When they arrive, their farmer friend is happy to see them and offers them a bath and a change of clothes. They all use a bathing shed to get clean and then swim about in the river, after which Ivan begins the story of his brother. First, he tells them about Nikolai's dream of buying property and the specific items he planned to own, which always included a gooseberry bush. To save for his future dream, Nikolai lived meagerly and literally starved his poor wife to death. Nikolai finally fulfilled his dream of owning land, and Ivan went to pay him a visit. Nikolai had changed since becoming a country landowner, eating too much and lazing about. Ivan tells his two friends that his brother put on airs as a landowner and took advantage of the local peasantry, just as all landowners can be expected to do. It's important for contemporary readers to understand the state of affairs in Russia at that time. In terms of power and wealth, there was a great deal of inequality among the population. The gooseberries come into the story during Ivan's reported visit to his brother. Nikolai has gooseberry bushes that are producing fruit. As Ivan tells it, Nikolai is overly enthusiastic about the berries and eats them greedily during the night. As Ivan tells the story to his friends, he philosophizes about the nature of happiness and the value of achieving one's personal dream. According to Ivan, it's more important for those who are still young and able, like Aloykin, to fight for the good of all than to seek personal satisfaction. The story ends with the three friends staying the night in the farmhouse and the rain continuing to fall. Identifying the hidden meaning or symbolism in some key quotes may help your overall understanding of gooseberries. One set of quotes that foreshadows the story about Nikolai and his self-indulgent ways comes when the men are bathing and swimming at Aloykin's farm. Ivan continues to splash about and enjoy the water when the other two are ready to go in the house. Delicious, he said, too delicious. You've had enough, shouted Borkin. As we see here, Ivan obviously has his own self-indulgent moments, too. Some of the most telling quotes come from the central frame part of the story. Ivan tells of his visit to his brother after Nikolai has realized his dream and become a property owner. It's obvious that Ivan does not approve of his brother's lifestyle or attitude. Out of the kitchen came the cook, barefooted and also as fat as a pig, and said the master was having his afternoon rest. I went in to my brother and found him sitting on his bed with his knees covered with a blanket. He looked old, stout, flabby. His cheeks, nose, and lips were pendulous. I half expected him to grunt like a pig. Ivan's story about Nikolai brings up the philosophical question raised by the Russian author Leo Tolstoy. How much land does a man need? This question is a precursor to the Russian Revolution and the quest for justice and equality. Ivan's perspective is influenced by what he saw in his brother. A man needs not six feet of land, not a farm, but the whole earth, all nature, where in full liberty he can display all the properties and qualities of the free spirit. In other words, ownership of land is not the key to contentment, but rather the freedom to see and experience the whole of the natural world. Near the end of the central story, Ivan urges his younger friend Aloykin to continue the fight. While you are young, strong, wealthy, do not cease to do good. Happiness does not exist, nor should it, and if there is any meaning or purpose in life, they are not in our peddling little happiness, but in something reasonable and grand. Do good. Gooseberries by Anton Chekhov is a frame story set in a small Russian village. 
In a frame story, one character tells a story in the context of a larger plot. In Gooseberries, Aloiken, Borkin, and Ivan, three friends, settle in on a rainy night and listen to Ivan's story of his brother Nikolai, who achieved his long-term dream of owning country property. The story is meant as a commentary on the extremes of power and wealth that divided Russia before the Russian Revolution.